Morning, everybody. Welcome back to Iron Oak Saw Mill. I say morning because it is morning here. It's about 8.30 a.m. We are on the job a little bit earlier than normal today. Yeah, we got some... Uh, we're going to do a big beam today. And we're actually going to do more than that, but we're going to videotape us doing a large beam. Um, 10 by 12 by 17 feet long. It's a good size beam. Oak. Log is loaded up on the mill already. We have the pith centered. We all know how to do that. You measure up from the mill deck up to the center of the log to the pith of the log that's the very center of the growth rings and the growth of the tree measure up equal that distance from one end to the other it's easier with the lt35 because you have the roller tow boards if your mill does not have roller tow boards pry one end of the log up put some wedges in whatever you need to do to get that centered up because what we're going to do is what they call boxing the heart today it's a large enough beam shouldn't be an issue uh with checking if we box the heart on a beam this large. Probably you don't want to box the heart on anything below an 8x8. Eight eight. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. The LT35 is set up. Show you, let's flip the camera around. Let me show you what we got done yesterday. Okay, what we did yesterday was a bunch of 3x10s. They only need to be 3 foot long. These are about 7. So the customer is going to be cutting those down to the final length. But uh, we pulled these out of some ugly looking oak logs that, uh, yes, the sapwood was gone, but the heartwood's still nice and solid and uh, it's going to work out great. We are lucky enough to have the use of some equipment today. We have a mini excavator, Kubota U35-4. And where is it? Over there in the distance, we have the Cat 287C. Definitely two good pieces of equipment you want. But on the mill, about 23, 22 inches wide inside the bark, we'll call it. Length we know is 17. And down here on the big end, sort of an odd shaped log. But we're coming in about 25 inside the bark. So not a whole lot of taper. So. We'll kind of walk you through it. We're going to, like I said, box the heart. You try to keep the pith as close to center of the beam as you can. That way it keeps all stresses even in the log and keeping the log as straight as, or keeping the beam as straight as possible. So we're going to go ahead and get set up and we'll get things rolling. So if you're interested in the Iron Oak Sawmill merch, uh, there's a store button down below. Go ahead and click on that. We got, I think, 20 some items in the store. A few to choose from t shirts, sweatshirts, tank tops, ladies' apparel, and men's apparel. So Ladies, you got you covered too. Um, don't have the hatch yet, but we're going to work on that one. We have some new uh, new logo coming out soon. Working with Bill Moon over at Backspin Graphics for that one. Definitely looking forward to that. We're going to keep it secret for now. <laughs> and also, YouTube has started a new thing called the Thanks Button. Uh, it's where you can give a direct donation to the channel. So if you, if you uh, feel so inclined, you can uh, support here, us here at the channel with a little uh, donation. Go ahead and uh, click on the Thanks Button and uh follow directions there all right we would definitely appreciate that we're gonna go ahead and get started milling this beam and uh i think it'll turn out nice let's get going all right guys mill's already warmed up we're gonna go ahead and take our first cut off the top here just enough to clean it up get a nice flat edge to work with and we'll start working from there the pith is a little offset on this log but we'll work it down and uh find out our best options I won't be wearing a mic. The mic is always drowned out by the, uh, the sawmill anyway. Uh, when we do the close-up stuff, uh, we will have good sound then. For now, enjoy the sound of the mill and the sight of salt us flying.
guys. We can't get the bunk out this far. The the uh, the mill rails, the, the uh, yeah, the mill rails can't get them out this far. So what we're doing is measuring off the frame. And on the wood miser, it's the same on both ends, so you can use the frame just like the mill rails. But we're at about uh, to the pith, about 20 and a half on each end. So that means our pith is leveled in this direction now. For, so we're gonna go ahead and get it squared up because you want a beam to be nice and square, right? Okay, you've seen us do this in previous videos. What Deb is doing is she's setting the square down on the mill rails, on the mill bed, and up against the log, and she'll tell me which way I've got to move it to get it square. So at the bottom towards you. All right, we are square and level again. So let's start taking a cut off of here and uh, let's keep making a beam. guys based on where the pith is on this log we're gonna have a lot to work off of this side and very little come off this side so I'm gonna go ahead and take a three and a half off of here because we have to make some four by fours or three and a half by three and a half as well so we're gonna take that off of this side and keep going Okay guys, we got all that mess squared away. We got it turned. We're just gonna keep taking a little bit off each side and uh, also try to produce the best lumber we can off the outside of it. Let's keep whittling away at this and get ourselves a beam.
right guys, barring a few problems, uh, it went pretty well. We got our 10 by 12 by 17 beam. It's even got a little bit of character to it. Spots like this, customer's good with, not a problem. And uh, let's see, how close are we to having that, that pith in the center? Pretty darn close. We're a little bit off in this dimension here, but right and left, almost right on. And uh, I think it'll do just fine. This is for a, uh, a driveway entrance, I believe. Driveway entrance where this is the post on one side. We've got another one matching this. And we already cut the piece for the top. That, that was at a previous, previous time we are out here milling. He needed to find one more tree that would fit the bill, and he did. So we got it up on the roller tow boards now so we can get the uh, skid steer forks under it and get it out of here. Tiny bit of weighing on this side. Again, not concerned about that. He's perfectly fine with that. But uh, yeah, we're not picking this one up by hand. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get skid steer over here and get this thing picked off the mill and move on to the rest of this. Stuff here, we got a, some five quarter boards we got to clean up and we've got uh, some three and a half by three and a half to make. We're just about to film a close and this guy comes rolling in you guys know there's mountains right over here right right beyond this tree line there's like two different mountain ranges you can see or hills not too big but completely blocked out by the heavy rain that's on its way <laughs> and the wind of course blows right at the front of the mill here so Well, there you have it guys beams seem to be the hot item on the mill lately and uh that one is no exception we actually milled several beams up there but we wanted to show that one especially because that was the largest one of the group also did um it's supposed to be stair treads if you check our shorts videos that were prior to this you'll get to see that one uh get those get to see those stair treads uh three by ten mm -hmm. by whatever length they came out of seven feet and they were going to split those in half make two stair treads out of each one so but uh if you have any questions about how we were milling that beam, be sure to put it down in the comment section, okay? Um, well, 
First off, well, secondly, first off, happy 4th of July, everybody. Yes, happy, happy 4th of July. By the time this video comes out, it'll be very close to the 4th. I think it's going to come out on the 3rd. It'll be out uh, Sunday morning of the 3rd. So happy 4th of July, everybody. Hopefully your celebrations go great. I know we'll be celebrating with family and friends and fireworks, of course. Um, <laughs> one of the other things we got to get to, you can see this behind me here. Uh, we've got a, quite the pile of... We've got ash in here, some cherry in here, some maple in here, black walnut in here. We got to get this split up. Family member, Steve, you know who you are, uh, is looking for a quart of firewood and uh, we'll be happy to help him out with that one. Also coming up in an upcoming video off here to my left, we've got a uh, nice black walnut crotch log. We want to be able to get that to you guys to see it. Um, what else we got going on? We are going to be, we've got some very large oak logs to mill over here. We've got a, some smaller black walnut. I don't know if we'll get any video of that because we've got to get that one out in a hurry. So um, yeah, it's been busy around here and we are <laughs> we are moving slabs in and moving slabs out. So, and we've, we're, we've got milling jobs coming up and hopefully we'll be able to get you some videos of those. Oh, let's not forget, I, I got my firewood stand finally done. Well, I finally, almost, almost done. It's built well, and finished. I got the, yeah, the finish done yeah, today. She spent all day doing the finish. <laughs> so. The finish is done. Uh, the metal roofing has been repainted. We actually repainted it. We'll Chucked show you it. that in an upcoming video. And uh, we'll be installing that coming up soon and get this thing out there next to the roadside and get some firewood going out to some folks who need it. So if you're interested in any Iron Oak Sawmill merch, the store link is below. Go ahead and click on that. Check out what we got there. T-shirts, uh, hoodies, sweatshirts, tank tops. Uh, men's and ladies apparel so be sure to check it out and believe me there's more than just gray colors in there guys that's all they show on the front uh, the front page but when you get into the store you get you choose the color and the style you want and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy that also one thing we got finally got done is our new logo um, this is not in the store this is only available through us so if you want one you got to contact us for it um, let me get a little closer here that is the new iron and oak sawmill logo so well, let me get my finger off part of that thanks to bill, bill over at backspin graphics excellent job bill thank you very much really yes, thank appreciate you that. we'll have that his link down in the description as well as fireworks are going off in the background you might be able to hear that um also if you're looking to support the channel in another way um youtube started something called the thanks or super thanks button uh down below where you click the uh like and the share right over from that it says all it says is thanks click on that works like a super chat if you're familiar with that um if you if you care to donate to the channel we definitely appreciate that we need it um i think that's about it the sun is dropping over the hill here we just had that storm roll through hopefully you enjoyed some of that footage and uh let me see that's about it um, i'm gonna head wrap this one up if you have any questions about what we're doing here at the mill any of the tools we're using um any, any of the ways we're milling, splitting firewood, stacking stuff, please let us know down in the comment section. We'd be glad to help you out. And as always, thanks everybody for stopping out. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. And we'll see you at our next time. And take care.